Hey there, welcome back to The Most Infamous, the channel where we dive into the craziest stories from around the world. Today we've got a tale that's straight out of a crime novel, The Wild Life of Marcos Williams Herbas Camacho, better known as Marcola. Let's dive into it. São Paulo, 1968. Our main man Marcola, aka Playboy, is born into the chaos of Brazil's concrete jungle. Orphaned at nine, he hits the mean streets as a pint-sized thief, earning his nickname Marcola after his love affair with industrial glue. His life took a detour from petty theft to bank robber extraordinaire in no time. Now Marcola wasn't your typical crook. He got busted in for robbing a bank and took a scenic tour through some of Brazil's coziest prisons. But Marcola wasn't one to twiddle his thumbs behind bars. He was pulling strings and planning heists from his cell. The PCC, founded in the 1990s, quickly rose to prominence as a powerful and dangerous criminal syndicate in Brazil. Marcola played a key role within the organization, earning a fearsome reputation as a ruthless and strategic leader. Under Marcola's leadership, the PCC orchestrated various criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, and acts of violence. The organization's influence extended beyond the confines of prisons, with a significant impact on Brazil's criminal landscape. Fast forward to 99, the PCC pulls off the mother of all heists, netting over 32 million Brazilian reais. This heist, orchestrated by our main man, landed him a first-class ticket to prison. Marcola wasn't just chilling in prison. Nope, he was running the show from behind bars like the criminal maestro he is. Our man Marcola was a devourer of books and an intellectual, too. He joins the PCC, quickly climbs the ranks, and takes charge. He forms a prison-based communication network, plays puppet master with lawyers, and keeps the PCC party going. In 2006, when authorities wanted to move him to a cozier cell, Marcola unleashed chaos, prison rebellions, attacks, you name it. The city of Sao Paulo was basically on pause. In February 2019, Marcola's criminal empire faced a significant blow when he was transferred to a maximum security prison. This move aimed to weaken his influence and disrupt the PCC's operations. Marcola's imprisonment raised questions about the effectiveness of Brazil's criminal justice system and the challenges authorities face in combating organized crime. His story is a stark reminder of the complexities surrounding criminal organizations and their impact on society. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this roller coaster of a story, hit that like button, subscribe for more wild tales, and remember, stay out of trouble unless it's for a good story. See you next time on The Most Infamous.